Okay, in this video, we're going to try to do 1970 AB4. It's a related rates problem. Um, do a bunch of related rates problems in a row in this playlist, probably. So let's see. Um, a right circular cone and a hemisphere have the same base. Right circular cone and a hemisphere have the same base, and the cone is inscribed in the hemisphere. All right, so I'm picturing, uh, just because I think it's useful to picture, I'm picturing kind of a, I don't know if this can make a, let me see, well, not really. That's not, that's not a semicircle. Nope, it won't make a semicircle. That's okay. Uh, I'm picturing this and then kind of this is the cross section, which is like all I can really imagine. Um, the figure is expanding in such a way that the combined surface area of the hemisphere and its base. So the hemisphere and its base is increasing at a constant rate of 18 square inches per second. Okay, so uh, the combined, so what is the surface area? So if you look, we're actually told um, that the surface area of the sphere is uh, four pi r squared, which you should probably know, but if you don't know, that's okay. So uh, we're gonna get half of that because it's a hemisphere, so that's two pi r squared, but also the base is another pi r squared. So if, I mean, this is, this is r. So I think the surface area that we're dealing with is three pi r squared. Um, and then the rate of change of that um, is uh, 18 square inches per, so that's ds dt, is 18 inches squared per second. I like to read these questions, just get like all the information down and then go from there. Um, at what rate is the volume of the cone changing at the instant when the radius of the common base is four inches? Okay. So at what rate? So we're trying to find find uh, dv dt for the cone when uh, the radius of the cone when r is equal to four. That's what we want to find. Um, all right. So I think what I should do is probably find uh, well I know ds dt. And I know the relationship between S and R. So if I find um, dr dt, and then uh, I will think more about this. But first, I'm going to find dr dt. So uh, from here, I know that ds dt is going to be 6 pi r dr dt. I also know, so I know two things. I know that uh, I'm interested in this when r is equal to 4. And I know that ds dt is a constant, I guess. Uh, is it constant or is it just at the time we're interested? Um, no, it's just like constant. It is constantly 18. So that's weird, but all right. So uh, these are the same. So 18 will go here and then uh, R is gonna be four. So it's gonna go there. So 18 equals six pi times four dr dt. So dr dt, to 18 divided by six is three and then uh, three over four pi. And dr dt should be in inches per second. Okay, all right, so that's an answer that we have that we can use. Now, because the cone is inside the hemisphere, it's in here, the height of the cone is also the radius. So I'm gonna add that into the picture. So this is, also the radius. So then the volume of the cone, it would be one third pi r squared h, but instead it's gonna be one third pi r cubed because h is equal to r. So one third pi r cubed. So then I need to find dv dt. It's gonna be pi r squared dr dt. And then uh, what do we know? We know that dr dt is this. And we know that R is equal to four. So let's sub in and see what we get. DV DT is gonna be pi, get four squared, three over four pi. This is ending up uh, like, a, eh. okay, this is gonna end up just, uh, there's no pi basically is what I'm trying to say. So I think we get 12. I think DV DT is, DV DT, 
is so right because the the pies cancel and then you get uh, four squared and four four and four squared is just four and then times three I think you just get 12 12 what inch inches cubed per second I believe that is gonna be our final answer so the entire thing is our answer as you're looking at it the entire thing is the answer but the final answer we were looking for, I think, is 12 cubic inches per second. So uh, I think that's it. And uh, I hope this was helpful. And good luck.